I'm outside in a AMG, right outside. channel it's your girl Sierra Lachey and if you're new here welcome to my channel um, I post entrepreneur videos I post try on hauls lifestyle videos just about anything that revolves around me so if you're very interested into entrepreneurship or like you know just basically my life um, what I do in a day or like what what you know what my life revolves around please hit that subscribe button but as you can tell by that title today I am back with another phone video now the last phone video was my 11 Pro Max, which I still have. Um, I got it in the year of 2020, it was like right before COVID. <laughs> um, so I did like what's on my iPhone, but this time y'all, we're unboxing my new phone. It just came in today. Sorry y'all, I keep getting notifications, I had to literally put it on do not disturb on my computer. But um, I, this, this time I got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And I currently have the 11 Pro Max. Now I've had this phone for about two years and I was like, okay, it's time to upgrade. So I still wanted the Max. I've been having Maxes or Pluses since the 7 came out. So I was like, I have to do the Plus. Like I can't do the small phone. So <clears throat> I got the 13 Pro Max in 128 gigs with the color is Sierra Blue. Now y'all are probably saying why blue because it has my name in it sierra blue and, and, and on top of that y'all the blue is actually pretty if y'all know the, the original price is about eleven hundred dollars not including taxes fees all of that um i only paid eight hundred and fifty so the phone was actually 749 to me okay i'm gonna explain this y'all y'all probably saying what how okay so my phone company is only in Mississippi it's probably a few in Alabama but it's primarily in Mississippi it's called C Spire so if anybody's in Mississippi it's C Spire so I've had y'all if, if you know two-year contracts were like a big deal you know that's what all we had before this new payment plan so if you know me I'm not really into the payment plan especially for a phone like that's just it's I wouldn't say it's unreal but like I'm not doing it so um i've had the same exact plan since probably high school i have unlimited data um unlimited calls like unlimited everything for like 60 dollars a month 60 70 and i just haven't changed plans let's get to the unboxing part because that's what y'all here for right this is what you see y'all can see you And y'all, I'm, I'm not used to, this thing's heavy. I'm not used to the phone box being this thin. Because if y'all know, if y'all have had any iPhones, y'all know the box used to be like this thick. I kid you not. Now it's this thin. But y'all, look, it's so pretty. Y'all, I had originally planned to get the phone after April 12th. Because on the website, it kept telling me they weren't going to be in stock until April 12th. And I just happened to go on the site last week and it was like, in stock, get it today. And I'm like, okay. So when I went to go get it, they were out of stock. I guess somebody got it before I did, but this is the pretty color. So it has two different tabs to tear off. Y'all, this is so exciting. I don't even know if I have my box for my 11 still. Oh my gosh. Y'all, look how pretty. Ah, it's so pretty, like. Oh my gosh. And I did not know the cameras were this big. Like the, um, what do you call these? The lenses? The I don't know, y'all. I'm not into this camera stuff, but yeah. Like, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. And just to compare the camera sizes, like, look at the different camera sizes. 
the 11 Pro, the 13. Like, you see the difference. Big. As you can tell, they have different shapes. I'm going to put this one like this. You can see it's metallic on the sides. This one's metallic, but the shape is more rounded. Excuse me for the dirty bone, but it's more rounded. And this one's like sharp edges. Um, ooh, I like this. And it also now tells you, like right here, the buttons. I don't think I've ever seen a, the iPhone do this. And then as always, y'all, it comes with the manual. It comes with the manual as well as a charger. I still have my charger from when I first bought my 11 Pro Max. All right, so I'm gonna try to take my camera off the tripod and show y'all my process. I'm gonna flip the camera so y'all can see me. Okay, you guys, so this is the phone. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is the phone. And I think it just comes on the front, yes. So we're gonna hold down the power button. Yo, don't y'all just love like the blue? It's so pretty. Like it literally is. And I love how like the new update is. It kind of it spells hello to you in different languages. So pretty. But here's a better view of the blue. So All right, so we're gonna click on English. I'm in the United States. Bring your current phone near. Okay, so this is my phone. And then on this phone, it's gonna tell me, set up new iPhone. This is my old phone. And then look. So now I have to position this. Or y'all are gonna see. I'm trying to get it on camera really good for y'all. Oh, there it goes. And then, so now I have to enter my password of my old phone. And y'all, it is safe to go ahead and back up your phone beforehand. Um, when I went the other day to get it in store, it had backed up, I think one o'clock at that morning. So I was okay with it, but if you have like important things that you need backed up to that second that you're there, I would recommend doing it while in the store too. And do my face ID and I'll get right back with y'all. Okay, now my face ID has been set up. So now it's asking me, do I wanna download from my iCloud or do I wanna transfer directly so it'll be ready with my data? I'm gonna do transfer from phone. Continue. I'm gonna set all this up. Hi, I'm Siri. 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 Shoot. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. You can change it later in settings. Okay, so actually, y'all, I like this because it, I wouldn't say it's specifically for like um ethnicity but like i like the different how diverse it is if that makes sense like it's i've never seen that or i haven't had it on my other phone hey siri hey siri send a message hey siri how's the weather today hey siri set a timer for three minutes Hey Siri, play some music. So now that my Siri is ready. So press and hold the side button to talk to Siri anytime. Okay, that's how my other phone was. Um, sure. So I'm going to go ahead and have it updated to the latest. Oh, the latest um, iOS and then I'll get back with y'all once the screen changes one eternity later so the phone is finished setting up 
and now it's gonna reconnect hopefully um, the update is finished because it took over an hour and now it is preparing to transfer now we're officially at the stage where it tells me how many hours it told me like 25 minutes at the very beginning but we'll see like how, how long it is okay y'all so as you can see the transfer has been complete I'm just waiting for oops, I'm just waiting for this phone to restart now I don't know if y'all can see but there's like a faint line across like the loading screen so um, we'll see how long that takes this is taking so long phone is done um, so my restore is complete let's see what, um, yeah the, the apps will still continue downloading I didn't have a well I had a ton of apps but like not a crazy amount that's weird okay so swipe to get started so it looks exactly let's see what it says well, I'm not going to erase this phone at the moment because I don't want to. Um, let me put in my password really quick for this. Both phones, they look exactly the same because I got them um, a transfer from one phone to the next. Um, as you can see right here, it still says waiting. It still says waiting for my widgets because they're still in the process of downloading. I don't even know why Kick is even on my phone, y'all. <laughs> But, um, yeah, as you can see, a ton of apps are still um, downloading, like, all of this stuff. Um, I need to actually set up my phone to where I can start receiving calls and stuff. Because, right, as you can see right here, it tells me... Come on. I think this is going to have too much going on. But... Up here it says no sim. There it goes. No sim. So I need to set that up. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, activate my phone. So I need to go to cspire.com. Let me turn the camera back this way. Um, cspire.com. Oh, spelled that wrong. Cspire.com slash activate let's see activate your eSIM device scan the QR code below with your new device I honestly probably should do this with my other phone <laughs> so now I have to let's see if I can take a picture of it it says scan it with your new phone so when I take a picture of it on this phone Okay, now let's go to my camera and see if I can do it with this phone. I'm going to set that up later. Oh, it works. Okay, install my cellular plan. A cellular plan from camera is ready to be added. Continue. So I officially have this phone set up now because as you... Oh, as you can see, it's telling me the LTE has been turned off of this phone. So, this is my new phone, y'all. I'm just loving it. Um, I did get some accessories for it. I have a clear case, which is, it's right here. It might have some fingerprints in it because I was touching it earlier, but that's the case I got for it as of right now. And then I also have some glass protectors because I don't wanna, I don't like my, I hate when my phone is cracked, and I haven't had a cracked phone in over two years, so um, this definitely helps it a lot. Look at this. This is my, my 11 Pro Max. This is my 13 Pro Max, and look at the difference, like the camera sizes. Like, look at this. Huge. Um, the side-by-side -side profile. I feel like this, this one's a little bit more thicker than this one, but y'all you know the shape is different. Um, and this is with them together at the bottom. Look at this. It's a, I would say literally like, I don't even know. It's a little bit taller, but not much. Um, and as y'all can see, the difference in the sizes. Um, I feel like the buttons are more discreet. Like they're not 
as bulky sticking out as this one but yeah um the buttons on the side I don't know I feel like the color is more vibrant I don't know they both still, still give off that like they both still give off that frosty finish um they still kind of feel the same um and I noticed the speaker is a little bit bigger on this phone but it's more discreet like you see the speaker at the top of this phone and then look at this you really don't see it. it's very very top literally I'm gonna do a screen record of them both side by side and I'm gonna put it in here but y'all I'm gonna put it on video but y'all look at the quality this one oh my gosh but Ooh, I love it like love 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 it um I don't know I might even record with with my phone one day like just so I could see but I love it I feel like the 13 is more like true to your color and I don't know it's just it's different y'all um would I recommend this phone I feel like I don't know, looking at it, because my mom has a 12 and I have the 13, I don't really see much of a difference, but I don't really know about her phone like that. Um, I don't know. I got it because of the color. And it was time for that change, y'all. This is the 11 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, so. One day, um, I feel like the portrait mode, oh yeah, it's a big difference. And I also can now record in three times zoomed in rather than, it's only one in three times compared to the one in two times on the 11 Pro. But you guys, one last thing I noticed was the quality of like the screen all together. Not just the camera, but like, if I put them side by side, y'all, the 13 just looks so much clearer. Like the screen itself, brighter, clear, crisp, um, which I love. So. I'm gonna continue to have my phone, well, my phone, continue the apps to like download and have everything together. I can't do anything on my real, my phone right now anyway because most apps are, aren't even downloaded. But that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope, and hopefully, you know, it inspired y'all to get the 13 Pro Max just like me. Again, this is the Sierra Blue. She is a beauty. Um, this is the 128 gigabyte. And the 11 Pro Max was the 64. And y'all, if y'all know about storage issues with iPhones, y'all know. But I'm glad to have <laughs> the 128 because it's gonna come in handy. But I'm about to go ahead and end this video out. Don't forget to hit that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and also comment down below what y'all wanna see next. I don't know, maybe I might do it. What's on my iPhone soon? I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,